Jeremiah chapter 4 is filled with amazing themes and subjects, prophecy, divine warnings, repentance, redemption, destruction, desolation, God's disappointment, and God's sorrow. But underneath all this, you also see God's intense desire for His people to return, to come back into His care and to His love. God's call to Israel, and I believe to all who wander away, is to return. It's a picture of God's unfailing love and readiness to forgive, providing hope even in the middle of coming judgment, a lesson for Israel and for you and I, about the consequences of choices and the redeeming power of God's love when it's combined with true repentance. Listen to these verses in chapter four. It says, if you will return, O Israel, says the Lord, return to me, and if you will put away your abominations out of my sight, then you shall not be moved. You shall swear the Lord lives in truth and in judgment and in righteousness. The nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. So God calls him back, and he says, hey, if, if you will come back, if you will repent, then I'll be waiting for you. It kind of reminds me of the story of the prodigal son. We, we all know what happened there. The, the son asked for his inheritance, he left the father, he went away and he spent it all on riotous living, the scripture says. And then he came to himself and he said, boy, even my dad's hired servants have it better than I do. And so he came up with a, well, something to tell his dad when he would get back. And he was gonna tell him, you know, I've sinned against you if you just make me a servant. And before he can even get the whole story out, as he's coming back, the dad sees him and runs to him and puts a robe on him and sandals on his feet, a ring on his finger, and says, my son that once was dead is now alive. And I always wondered, had the prodigal son known that the dad was always looking, always waiting, had the robe and the ring and the sandals and everything prepared for him to come back, if he would have come back a little earlier. And sometimes I think we forget how loving, how caring, how willing God is to restore and we stay away, we, we think we've blown it so bad, God can't forgive. But like the story of the prodigal son, and like Jeremiah chapter four, true repentance, the willingness to return, the Lord waits with forgiveness and restoration. That's part of the story of Jeremiah chapter four and God's unfailing love. Mm -hmm.